Uh, I work for Record Harvest um, here in Nevada, Missouri. Uh, we are a precision agriculture firm. We're dealers for Trimble and Ag Leader, Midtech, T-Jet, Raven. Uh, basically, our goal is, as a company is to help producers maximize their, their profits, maximize their efficiency in the field. We offer everything from precision soil sampling services to precision ag equipment. Um, so we are, we like to think of ourselves as kind of the whole, the whole picture, the full circle when it comes to precision ag. We've noticed uh, in the past we've got customers that you know start out pretty slow in edging into the process, and it's it's almost a, an addictive technology. Once they they see the benefit of it, see how it, it can. Um, help them improve the management practices on their farm, it, it's amazing how that, that interest takes off. When I was a little boy, dad, my dad was still harvesting corn by hand, and he always commented in later years that any man that could uh, harvest a hundred bushel a day was a pretty good man. And we run probably a hundred bushel now in a minute, minute and a half. It, it's, it just amazes me what we do now. At that time, corn, grain was hauled uh, by wagons or by pickups, and now then we've moved on to 10 wheelers and 18 wheelers, and uh, it's, I, I wonder what the next 40 years will bring. The, uh, the business of crop production is dramatically different to these last few years. And part of this is that the technology is so much different. We have uh, genetic, uh, genetically modified crops now that are doing things much differently than uh, they have in the past. And that has changed really the whole marketplace, how a farmer thinks. And so many of the past uh, Threats to crops such as insects and diseases and weeds are handled much differently than they have been in the past because we have genetic modifications to handle some of those types of things. The other thing that has changed very much is that agriculture has very much entered the electronic world. Just a few years ago, it was difficult to communicate with many farmers because they were not using email whereas uh, many other business people in other sectors of the economy were commonly using email. And uh, we have picked up on the, that trend is definitely changing. Uh, more and more farmers have high-speed internet access, they're using email. That again is all part of this electronic revolution that's occurring in farms that we think is driving this whole precision agricultural situation. Because if a farmer is not comfortable with email, if they're not comfortable with com the system of computer files and that whole thing, they may not be comfortable with taking a card out from a monitor or something in a combine and uh, creating a yield map or something like that. We use Trimble Auto Guidance on uh, everything that we've, everything we do basically, from spraying to fertilizing, disking, combining, uh, every, every pass that goes across the field we use the auto guide and so on and it's uh, as far as easy to use it's uh, Wyatt my son he's five six years old now he told me to get out of the seat and he could fertilize so and he can turn the tractor around push the button and it's on its way to the other side of the field. So. I think in the Midwest today we're right in the middle of this adoption curve we're, we're right in the center of it the adoption rate is, is faster than we've ever seen in the past and this technology, although it may have been designed for some of the vegetable farmers in the West, it truly adapts well to the corn and bean farmers right here in the Midwest, as, as well as all the other the grain crops that we have here. So a few of the things that we've done is not only steer tractors, but now we're also managing the information that's happening on the tractor at any specific time. So we can take a look at the information on the tractor in an office, we can manage it remotely, we can send messages to the driver of the tractor, and we can even take a look and see what is happening on site at any particular time. If you had to look into a crystal ball and, and really look at where this industry has come in such a short amount of time, the future is uh, uh, let your imagination run wild. But we really feel that, uh, that the data is going to be, become 
crucial even more so than we've ever imagined. It's probably going to be the most valuable crop that a farmer harvests. You know, what this GPS technology allows him to do is literally document everything he does. I mean, uh, from the moment he gets out in the field, he can document every variety that he produces, when he placed it in the ground, uh, how much rain it you may have got through the season, what what was you know uh, uh, done on that field throughout the year, and literally by the time he gets to harvest, you know he is able then with a yield map uh, through his combine able to document and compare notes, and literally now through the GPS and computers analyze that in ways he never had the opportunity to.